welcome back guys. Here's another video. I'm going to be doing a little whitetail crib video here of all of our bucks and all the stuff in our buck room here. So let's get right into it. So this here is my dad's bow buck from opening day in 2012. Um, I... He wasn't in the stand very long, and this one came walking in. It's a nice nine-pointer. Really good mass. Really cool mount. That's like the buck that really started it all for us at our house here. So, that's a pretty special buck here in our room. Next is my bow buck from last year. I shot him on Veterans Day in the rut. Not very big, but pretty cool story behind this one. We watched him all summer and he broke his tine off sometime during the early season. So that's pretty special buck to me. This buck right here was my dad's first buck. I think it's one of his first bucks. And he shot it with a gun behind our house back in like 04 I think. This one right here, my dad shot this one last year with a gun, right behind the house again. Nothing huge, but it's pretty cool, dark rack. He shot that opening day too. This isn't a whitetail, but it's my brother's antelope from Wyoming, so that's pretty cool. I don't know anything about this, so that's I'll leave it that there. This big mule deer here is also my brother's from Wyoming from a different year. I think it was his first year out there. And that's pretty cool that we have that in here. I don't know much behind that one, so I'll leave that there too. And then right here, I shot this back in 2017 on Veterans Day. I was just walking through the woods, just checking scrapes for gun season the next weekend. And I saw him in our food plot, so I grunted, and I shot him at five yards. And I went, we went out 15 minutes later and found him about 150 yards from where I shot him. That's probably one of my most special bucks, but not my biggest. This year was a late season buck. Shot him in December of, I want to say 2016. Um, my biggest buck, nice eight pointer. Really nice mount. That's all I gotta say about him. This year, this is my first buck with a bow, or at all, first deer. And made a horrible shot on him. He went about 800 yards and my brother and dad found him the next day. So that's before I could even shoot. This is my dad's friend's deer. We just put it in this because it's pretty cool. And I don't know anything about it, so. This is, a, this is my dad's 14-pointer um, late season. Um, we watched this buck the whole rut, I think. He was a 15-pointer before, but he broke off. Super nice buck. That was a super cool deer. Next, we got my dad's 2013 nine pointer. He shot that in the same stand as that first one I showed you guys, the, just the year after. I think this one was during the rut, and it, it fell like 30 yards from his stand, so that's pretty cool. This deer is probably the most one of the most special deer to us because I this is before I could hunt, and I was sitting with my dad in a blind in a field that we got permission to hunt and this guy well a doe came out first and then this guy came out and my dad shot him so that was a pretty cool moment that's kind of what got me into hunting and wanted to shoot some deer so that's a really special deer to us these two back here my brother's only whitetail the top one with a gun bottom one with a bow me and my dad actually found that one, like a, the bottom one, a month later after he'd shot it. This one just a mount or a deer I found when we were tracking a deer. 
There's my mom's roadkill. Her only buck. Dad, you could talk about this one. 1992, uh, we had a gang of guys out north of town and uh, we were making a drive and this big boy got up with a, about six other does and ran towards my buddy and he shot him. Uh, very special buck. Yeah, that's, that's, that's one of our favorites in here too. Super big, tall tine 10 pointer. And then over here we just have some sheds and stuff, just a couple. We got some more in the house. We got some more mounts in the house, but yeah. Oh, and before you go, if you guys want a good taxidermist, that Ryan Hansen does all of our taxidermy at Immortal Whitetails. Really recommend him. I'll leave a link in the description for that, so go check him out. And then we do have more deer coming the soon so we have a really special one that's going to be coming soon full velvet buck that my dad shot opening day of last season with a bow so we're really excited to get him back and we just are so grateful that we have all these bucks and can't wait to add more to this this year if you guys like this video please like and subscribe leave a comment thank you guys for watching